Okay, so I'm uh, I'm playing Shadow the Avatar. This is the R15 release. And this is a big deal because this is the first release to use the Unity 5 engine instead of previously it was on Unity 4. So I've come here to Greymark Forest because uh, two of the improvements which you should be able to see here. Let's see if I zoom in. Oh no, disappearing. There's been a lot of work on the male character. As I understand it, there's not been so much work on the female character. But one of the things that has been worked on is the eyes. So let's just take my helmet off momentarily. Eyes are slightly glowy, but you see around the irises, there's actually some uh, some definition and depth to them. Uh, if I had a male character, we'd perhaps see, oops, we'd perhaps see some uh, more detail. Anyway, right, I'm in Greymark Forest, so I've come here to uh, kill some elves, just for laughs, because I want to get some uh, get some experience points. Uh, oh no, somebody's been killing elves before me. We'll let him have at it. And we'll charge over here and kill this guy. Alright, go on. Attack him. Alright, don't attack him then. Right, so, some of the changes for this release are that the auto attacks now have a variety of animations. So, well, I think we see two different things there, at least. Let's repost him. Another thing that's changed is that the uh, oh, is that the the health regenerates have been cut by a quarter. Well, I'm glad I'm earning experience points, which means there's now even more benefit to standing standing still when fighting, which is you know if you've seen some of my previous videos. There is uh, quite a lot of kiting going on in some of them when I'm at a lower level. I suspect you'll still need to do quite a lot of kiting when you're at a lower level. But there'll be higher level characters that uh, that require you to actually actually fight them. Right, let's loot him. Go on then. There we go. I don't really need any of that. I've got more than enough elven crap to be going on with. Where with the other guy? But I'll take all the gold. Cool. All right, let's just quickly check. All right, I'm only only about a thousand off of off of leveling up. Our oh, archer was eight hundred, so I'm just going to attack some other things. Now it's important to note that even though Unity 5 has the opportunity for much better, much better graphics, but not necessarily and, and much better performance for that matter, we'll not necessarily see that immediately. Although I think it does look a bit better. I'm going to have to do a side by side comparison at some point. Uh, but yes. It just offers the opportunity to make make it faster and better. There's still a lot of work to be done to improve the visuals, uh, to take advantage of the new capabilities in the engine. 
I've leveled up. Woohoo! I've reached level 24. Right. That's what I wanted to do. So let's just steal his gold. And let's head out of the forest. Uh, we might have to kill the elf on the way out. Just because he's there. Come here, you. is failing not gonna matter but yeah I just wanted to have some skill points to spend and uh, yeah, my lights faded so I like to see that well, I think that the uh, character models are now a bit a bit dark it's quite hard to see but this is this is generally a consequence of redoing all of the uh, all of the textures for Unity 5. So anyway, right, let's lug it. Uh, I'm still lugging it. Do you think he wants any help? Let's see what he's up to. Yeah, he's doing fine. We'll leave him to it. I don't think there's anything to be done in any of this. I wonder if there's actually a quest related to that, that uh, carriage, but I've not figured it out. I'll probably have to ask on the forums. I'm not really one for figuring this stuff out. Got another elf. Oh, there's lots of elves. Where was the actual way out? I'm being chased by an elf as well. I don't really want to fight anything else. I've got my I've got my skill points. Oh, that looks more promising. Lost in Greymark Forest. That's what I am. Oh, see the lights are actually flickering which I'm fairly sure they didn't do in the last release although you see the, the trees in the distance do look a bit weird don't they alright so I'm entering the Hidden Vale let me just refer to my list of um, list of stuff I wanted to talk about alright the Overland map so we might get lucky. Oh yeah, we got we have got lucky. You can see on the overland map some other characters standing around. So other characters are now available for you to uh, for you to look at. Oh, there's another one with his cape. I'll put my cape on. There we go. I always think the capes look a bit dodgy because your legs pass through them unless they've fixed that. Oh, maybe they have. It's looking nice. So, heading into Kingsport. Let's see. Well, I've got a list of about 12 things to talk about. And I've been through three of them so far, and we're 10 minutes in. So that's usual with my uh, my videos of this stuff. It's uh, escalating beyond my control. Either that, or I just talk too much. Maybe I should have a better plan. I don't know. Now that's interesting. Are they both me? No. They're not both me. We could be twins though. Separated at birth. I wonder if she actually is dressed like me. Oh yeah, the legs aren't going through the cape anymore. 
It's a massive improvement. Capes look realistic. I might actually start wearing one. So there are some, yeah, so there are some glitches with the uh, textures. Right around here it looks a bit weird. But on the other hand, this isn't lagging. Oh, there we go, a little bit of lag. It isn't lagging as bad as it used to. And we've got smoke, smoke rising over the docks. Oh, there we go, there we go with some lag, right. I'm fairly sure there is a skills train around here somewhere. No, that's not the skills trainer. I wonder what Koval is. Ah, he's a player character, is he? I don't know. Here's a skills trainer, right. So, there's two things I want to talk about here, now that I've got these eight points to spend. Uh, one is that we can now spend points in crafting. Now at the minute there's nothing in the refining production areas but there is lots of skills in the gathering. So let's see. I'll have that up to three. gather quickly what does this give me oh bonus chance right so we'll have that field dressing that's harvest increases foraging mining I like to do mining so there we go it increases the chance of gathering stuff a meticulous collection gives you a chance to not consume the resource as you gather it which is quite neat obviously so let's just uh, let's just level up these a little bit Can't spend any more points, I don't think. All right, so that's my uh, that's my crafting all leveled up, which lets me gather gather resources more effectively. So this this is new in this release, but only the gathering one, like I said. The refining ones will let you as as you smelt iron ore into iron iron blocks. The refining ones and. So that would be what smelting S will, will give you an improved chance of getting quality material out of it. Uh, and then the production ones will determine whether you produce uh, a perfect example of the item you're aiming for, or a slightly weaker example, or a broken example. So if you just try and produce things that you're not, you know, you've not got skills in, you'll have a fairly good chance of, of not producing anything that useful. So, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, stealth. So this is new skills for this release. And then, there we go, vanish. Becomes hidden while standing still. Fizzle chance 60%. Charm animals, don't need to do any of that. What the moon I should do. Increases dexterity at night, nice. Shadow form lets you be stealth and move around. But you, oh, you need garlic and mandrake root and serpent scales, which is interesting. What do you need there? So what I'm going to do is give myself some night vision. That's good. We'll get Vanish, level 1, and come back later and do that, because I do want, on the practical front, I wanted to check 
Oh, where was I? There was something I wanted to... That's the one I want to get to, shield preservation. So, I need to level that up, do I? To... Angles level 1. Right. But I can't get that now. Okay. Let's just have a quick look. Okay. Now, when I was talking about the uh, the combat changes earlier, one of the things the the Ema mentioned was that these these stances then become then become more useful because you've got to stand still to take on a bunch of enemies because otherwise you don't regenerate anything. Uh, so. These will do they do buffs increases focus regen increases strength attack speed and movement speed so these sort of things will will let you overcome the the innate uh, the innate uh, reduction in in uh, well innate restoration of health points while you while you're fighting all right so enough about skills and gathering the skills train up let's uh what was the uh auto deck that's what i wanted to get up all right let us Put the maps in my inventory. No. So what I want to look for... There we go. Night vision. And vanish. That's what I want to do. So let's try it. Fizzle. Well, the fizzle chance is pretty high. And again. Hey, look at that. I'm invisible. Sort of. Sort of invisible. Interesting. Yeah, very predatory. I'm guessing if I move, that stops. Yes. Right. So anyway, interesting. I will. I will try and level up those skills a bit. So when I do my grand tour. Oh, ooh, cats. That's something else I'm going to talk about later. When I do my grand tour. Uh, Brave Coast, I don't want to go there yet. I'm not that I'm not an open PvP type person. Yeah, when when I do my uh, Grand Tour videos, I'll see if I can actually use Freighter Esther Cove. No, I want to get to Arderis at this point for the next part of this talk. So is it this one over here? It's been a while. After I got completed my grand tour, the other clicks are much better. This release, I haven't realised. After I completed my grand tour, I didn't really play it much. Yes, Arderis. Go on then, go. There we go. So let's see. Ah. So one more thing I'm meant to talk about, as far as um, as far as crafting was concerned, also in this release, is the possibility of vendors. So these are NPCs, which you can craft. You can craft goods and then leave the goods with the vendor, with a you know with a, a price point or what have you. 
and uh, they, they will spend a week trying to sell it and then you'll get, if you don't sell it, you'll get half the value, the standard value of the product. So this is a part of the, you know, the full system, there'll be the possibility to be a master craftsman and so people will seek out your goods at vendors uh, and also obviously you can create you'll be able to have your own personal vendors which won't which won't discard things but this release has public vendors i've not come across one yet but they're around the rs has always been a little slow looks like it's still slow so the reason i'm heading to Arduris is that there's been some work in this release in uh, doing doing the Novia overworld map. So Arduris is in Novia, I think. I might be talking out of my arse a bit here. Arduris is in Novia. Previously, you could only get to Arduris in this in the ferry and then you know get back to Kingsport. But now you can walk out of Arduris and and be in an overworld map. So I'm going to see if I can do that. As soon as we get loaded. Might be a bit laggy. It does look... See, I think it does look better already. Let us have a screenshot of that. Screenshot saved. So we're a bit laggy, definitely. Big boats. So the question is, what is the quickest way out of Arduris? I don't know. But I suspect the thing to do... Uh, let's not go that way. The thing to do is pick a direction. Oh, it's very laggy. Pick a direction and go that way. So I'll pick east, yes. East since Arduris is the um I don't know what you would say Asian Asian themed area it's supposed to be. Oh it is much I laggio. So assuming they eventually fix the performance the performance issues in Arduris which I'm sure they'll, they will eventually, and it'll be fine. Even on my crappy old five-year-old machine. I think Arduris is, is one of those areas that if I ever save up enough money to get a house, I think I'd quite like to be in Arduris. Yeah, then. Let's jump off. There we go. Yeah, full damage. Yay. Oh, so much lag. But I think Arduris is quite uh, it's quite pretty. Generally. Dum 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 come on. Come on. that way. Oh, that's terribly laggy, isn't it? I don't know if that's because there's a lot of people, like me, currently trying to uh, explore the overland map for Arduris. But we'll see. Keep heading east. Uh, Chinese lanterns. So let's have a look. So that looks like a good place to be. I wonder if I can get to it. Let's just swim. I'm sure it won't it won't affect my armour.
So yeah, so like I said, my strategy is we'll keep heading sort of east until we reach the edge of the map, and then hope we can get out. How well that works, I don't know. Okay. So I can't get out here, which is interesting. Water in the sunlight. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll stop, I'll edit the video at this point. Oh, I'm out of water. Edit the video at this point and uh, come back to it when I've actually reached the map exit. Oh, I'm out. Well, you never know, I might reach it soon. If I do reach it soon, I won't edit the video. So I'm going to keep talking, just in case this is the exit. an exit because that will save me doing a load of editing which is always a pain back into this top of a hill It's always slow. This map's huge. There we go, we're going out. Entering Novia. Right, so, well, that was only two minutes. I'll not bother cutting that out of the video. You'll just experience the lag along with me. Dum dum dum. This could take a long time. Who can tell? Oh no. Leaps up to 50%. And there we are. Uh, complete with other players. How pretty is that? So let's, uh, let's go for a quick trundle up the coast. I'm not sure if there's anything around here to discover. I think it does, they have succeeded in making it look significantly different. Significantly different to the, uh, the regular map. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. You know what I mean, though. Although you can see, yeah, the mountains are obviously very similar. But it does... It does look different. Right. So that's enough of that. While I'm walking back, let me uh, talk about a few more... Uh, a few more things that are in this lease. So... There's a lot of new areas. Oh, Old Water. That is a place you can visit. We're not going to do it now, though. Let's enter our address. So if you give me time to talk about this stuff. So there are a bunch of... Uh, there's only one new... Um, uh, is it map? I don't know what the exact terminology is. So there's a, a place called Vedantis Shardfall, which is... Supposed to be significantly different to the uh, the Shardfall area that was introduced in the last map. Uh, the Shardfall areas are always open PvP, 
so I presume there's going to be a, a tour guide in this new one to visit later so we'll get a video about that later point but then they've been populating uh, the existing map with um, well if you imagine the map actually underlying the map there's there's a bunch of uh, hexes that are actually actually areas and most of them are empty at the minute but they've been populating a load of the ones around the southeast coast um, what's it perennial the perennial coast so there's a whole bunch of new new towns and areas to explore around there so I'm, I'm expecting again that some of those will come up during the during the grand tour so check back over the over the next week for my videos of all of that and we'll see it um, oh yeah that was the other thing there's pets so this release you get I've received my my uh, pledge reward to to summon a Siamese cat I don't know how it works but let's see um, that's so laggy here I should have done this before Siamese cat call So, well, I'm not sure about it. What do I do? Do I equip it? It's hard to say. For some reason, I can't move my inventory window. Oh, oh interesting. Let's look at that. Let's get out of Ardris. Well, I'll start getting out of Ardris. And while I'm running, I'll tell you about uh, one of the other new features is there's an experimental NPC. It's actually a barmaid in Braemar that now has, has her own schedule and does her own things. So if you go into the bar during the day, she'll be there. And if you go in at night, she won't. I'm not sure where she'll be at night. Might be interesting to find out. I'll look into that uh, later on. So what are the... It'll probably take too long to get back to... Back to Braemore now. Ooh, there we go, down the stairs. There we go. Oh, so is this the Oracle? This is the Oracle, yes. That's pretty cool, actually, with the flaming eyes. Yes, yeah, so the barmaid has a schedule, and so she's only available in the bar, uh, you know, during daylight hours. And this is an experiment. A lot of the NPCs, I think, will be like that in the, when we get to the final, the final release, which you know, still a long way off. Where's the way into the oracle? Oh, quite cool, flaming eyes. What's in here? Protection. Ah, remove protection. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I want all the protection I can get, thanks. So, that's, uh, I think I've covered probably about half of the stuff that I've actually mentioned in the, in the release email of what's new in this release. Uh, that's a good old 30-odd uh, minutes of video. It was one of the things, nice things, is there's, there's always new stuff. Even when they've spent, obviously, a lot of time to uh, cut the conversion to Unity 5, there's still new features and... Uh, and and new new places to explore in every release, which I like. Uh, the graphics look promising. And um, let me see, there is uh, one thing I want to read out if I can find it again. No, 
all right here we go yes so this is in the email i got as we have said before our goal is to make sure shroud is as visually compelling as we have time to make it however whenever we have to make a choice between simulation e.g turning lights on off picking up items from the world npc schedules etc and visuals we will always choose the simulation so although looking good is a goal um, being I guess being interactively realistic is that how you describe it that that is the primary goal so the looks the looks are in service to the inter interactivity and immersive immersive nature of the game which I think is a good way of doing it So let's see. I'm gonna see if I can frame a nice screenshot to finish up with. So the sunshine shines down on me and my me and my new eyes. There we go, nice screenshot. And uh that's where I'll wrap up the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely uh getting time to if you've been holding off. I think the time when you need to, you want to start checking this game out is uh, fast approaching. Lots more stuff is getting implemented. It's starting to look a lot better. Um, check back later in the week for my uh, other videos of the Grand Tour. Okay, so I'm back for a brief addendum because I ran down the hill from the Oracle and discovered here by the crafting station I think he's the uh, crafting trainer but here is one of the vendors that I mentioned public vendor greetings traveller I'm a public vendor who helps the crafters here sell the goods they produce at a fair price feel free to browse the wares available ask me how public vendors work so someone Someone has crafted, oh, Trevor McGurk has crafted a longbow. Uh, not much use to me. Oh, where did he go? And you'll see it expires, so he crafted it 2005 minutes ago because these things expire after a. Um, after a week and then you get half of the value okay 10% the sale only plus 10% 7 days and fully cancel what's the item of sold prices go to your bank right yeah it goes at the going rate Eventually, if you own your own property, you'll be able to hire your own vendors, which will not have the seven-day restrictions. And the, but obviously, that's not in yet. So here we are, at crafting station. Yeah, it is a bit dark, I think, but that'll get adjusted. I suppose it is getting to be night now. So anyway, that was a short addition to my original original video. I'm just going to stick it on the end. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's, uh, let's finish off by attempting invisibility. No, come on, you can do it. No, 40%, one in three should work. No. Fizzle. Yes. So what'll be interesting actually I just found playing homes. What'll be interesting will be what that looks like to other players. Anyone know how to get the boat to Kingsport? Yes.
The guy doesn't know how to get back. Well, you'll find it. Anyway, right, so wrapping up the video for a second time. Um, come and join us in Shadow the Avatar. It's getting quite interesting these days.